Yeah, why don't, why don't we all come around to your house, Pavel? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do some role-playing. Nah. We'll, we'll role-play, we'll record that. I, I am yet to see you guys role-play during your role-playing sessions. That's because you never invite us around to your house. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the venue. <laughs> well, or do you only role-play the way you do when you're here? Dave's never role-played with us. Oh, yeah. It's, it's only you and, you and Trice. I, 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 make, and I make at least some of an effort. Well, I'll yeah. have you know. I, 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 try I fully to keep agree. Ready, Ewan does, <laughs> does put an effort into his, his in, in character sort I, of. I role-play 24-7. <laughs> As a Dave. <laughs> you have a strange the class, best class. Dave. <laughs> class, Dave. <laughs> Challenge class. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> So yeah, obviously no RPG talk today at all. Well, that was yeah. a little bit of RPG. Talk. That was a good five minutes of non-RPG talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah fair enough. Well, yeah. I look forward to hearing about this Genesis system and these uh, flavoursome dice. So, like, when you jump over a chasm, it'll be like, oh, you don't just succeed, you, you, uh, what, you, you succeed emotions. with style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you make it over, but you feel kind of sad about it. You're not quite, you're not quite sure if jumping over the chasm was the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, you're a bone storyteller, Dave. <laughs> you accidentally flash the creatures at the bottom of the cavern. <laughs> Your robe flies off around your head. <laughs> no, but even even those examples, as fantastic as they are, they showcase what RPG should be about, and your mathematical systems sort of tend to put you in this tunnel of tunnel thinking whether you're succeeding but, or not. But Pavel, is that not removing you know the the whole thing of people coming up with stuff themselves? Uh, no, this is or encouragement. Is it, it, it's nothing encu- else. It feels like a prompt. I think. Yeah, it's a prompt, but it's kind of is that not then forcing you down a certain path? Oh, you're only using the mechanics of a game if you want to. But I would only have one side you of this, and it would be, your loincloth has perished. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not sure if this is a, a game I want to play, really. I would love if you ran a game and that was the... <laughs> that was the flavour. <laughs> failure thing for everything. <laughs> your, loincloth. your loincloth perishes. <laughs> Loincloth, the RPG. <laughs> please, please ask yourselves again, why are we not throw playing together? Because get to the end of the I story with your loincloth intact. There's so just many ways, the answer here. So many ways that that, that can fail. <laughs> oh, I'm, you need to make this system. This could yeah. actually be... This could work. People would play this. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there would be plenty of those. The Genesis system would have a chance. <laughs> Oh, there would be a special special die just oh, for that. Be, yeah. Nice, so would it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The loincloth die. Oh, it's fantastic. Good thank, stuff. Thank you for that. RPGs uh, are great. Yeah, I'm just beginning to realise that there might be a reason why we don't talk about RPGs that much. 